Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I have the TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi extender right here in front of us. I'm gonna show you what's inside the box and I'm also gonna show you how to connect this to your router to extend this Wi-Fi out to your house or if you have something else that's you know bigger, if you have a bigger land, bigger property, you wanna make sure you have a great Wi-Fi connection around. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and see what we got going on. Let's see what we have. Because this AC750 mesh Wi-Fi extender is a dual band. So you get the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. It has high speed mode. So that way you can stream and you can play games wherever you are at around the house. So that way you get no more dead zones. With this one here too, two year warranty with it. And in the box, as we open this up, here is what it looks like. So something simple, not too bad. It's just a TP-Link plug-in adapter that plugs in to your AC outlet. And you have a connecting button here as well. So let's plug this in. Let's set it all up so that way we can see what everything looks like. So as you can see here, I have my router and I have my extender here. And what I have to do on this extender is plug it into an outlet. So I have an outlet right over here. I'm gonna plug it in. And you'll see some lights that pop up. And once that pops up, it's a good thing, it's a good sign. And then what we have to do is we have to go all the way to this instructions list. And it gives us basically three types of methods on how we can actually set up the tether on the extender and the router. You can do it through the app if you wanted to. It's a tether app or you can do it via web browser. It says here one, connect your smartphone to the extender's network. And you want to do that but you have to visit the um, link here. So the tplinkrepeater.net or the 192.168.0.254. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my phone. All right, as you can see here, I have all these Wi-Fi networks available and there's a TP-Link extender right here. So I'm gonna click on that. It should be an open Wi-Fi signal and it should have it give it a check mark right there up top. It says no internet connection. And then when you want to go into the Safari and type in the URL. So I'm going to do HTTP colon forward slash forward slash one nine two dot one Six eight dot zero dot two five four. Then it's going to go to the TP link site and you want to create a new password and confirm it to log in. And then once when you have signed in and create a password, it's going to have all these different Wi-Fi networks around that's available and then the one that you want to connect it to is the one that you have at home so I have this one here and you want to enter in the password for the Wi-Fi at home so now once when you type in the passwords for your Wi-Fi router on your phone is going to have you select and um, if you want to customize the Wi-Fi name for the extender you can hit extender there um, or a sender there for the 5G, for 5 gigahertz network. And then after that, you want to hit next. It's going to apply settings. It's going to get it connected. So this might take a little bit of time. Now, once when you go to this screen is where it says relocate, you should be able to take out your TP-Link extender and put it into a different location. And when you go into the TP-Link extender, you should have more lights coming on as well. So you have the 5G network up top, 
the 2.4G network up top. It says Wi-Fi right there in the bottom for the third light, and then the bottom light is just says that it's on. So if all the lights are on, that means it is good. So now what we want to do is we want to take it out and then relocate it. So now I have this relocated in a different location in the house. It's going to first scan all of the Wi-Fi networks available and then reconnect. But what you should have is you should have all these lights pop on again. So the 5G, 2.4, and the Wi-Fi signal. This will take a few minutes, but it should pop up with all the networks available. Perfect. As you can see here, all the networks are connected. If for some reason you have the Wi-Fi signal range where it shows red, that means that you are out of um, the range of signal from your router and you have to go somewhere a little bit closer. But that's all you have to do. So now once when you've already connected your Wi-Fi extender to the wall plugin, you want to go back into your phone, back into your iPad, any device that you want to connect that specific device to have an extended range for Wi-Fi. But you, what you'll see here is that you'll have all these Wi-Fi connections and you'll have these connections that says like Lucky's iPad and then I have my phone already connected to the Netgear extender. So what you'll have is you'll have your Wi-Fi name and each of the Wi-Fi names for the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz network you'll have it where it says EXT. That's the extender that is connected um, to a different place as a plugin. So if you click on that, it's gonna automatically connect. You have to first enter in your password when you're trying to connect to the extender. But once you have that all through, let's go back onto the Safari and make sure everything works. So in Safari, let's type in apple.com and then it should go into the Apple, Apple homepage and all that is now working. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. Now, if you have any other questions or any other concerns, feel free to leave it down in the comment box below. Or if you wanna go ahead and buy this extender for yourself, go ahead and check out the link down below. And then lastly, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, so that way you're not missing on any new videos right here on this channel. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.